G'day and welcome to Fishing Adventures with Tav. I'd like to talk about the main fishing quest line in the, the last New World Open beta. The quest here at the core are basic as. Uh, you catch X amount of fish or fish up X amount of bait and junk. The hard part though is running in between the areas to meet the next quest giver while not getting killed by the mobs that are a much higher level. I don't have many tactics for this. Uh, if you're a low level like I was, I was around level 15. Stick to the main road, use camps often, just keep running dude. Another thing I could say is while you're lagging in between these areas in the first couple of missions, I did manage to get my gathering skill well up over level 60, so please make sure you are leveling up another skill while you're out there. The first bloke you're going to want to visit is Michael Shields. He's located just west of Windswood Settlement. On the way there, pick up some of the bushes and bulrushes along the bank of the river, to get some wood lice and other bugs, uh, this will help you to complete his first quest, and if you haven't already made one yourself, he'll give you your first rod. So, how do I fish Tav? This is what you're asking. Tavin, how do I fish, my friend? It's easy as dude, I would say. Just attach the rod as you would any other tool, walk up to the water, you'll get a prompt that says to hit F3 to fish. Hit F3. Hold down the left click to cast, then you wait. Wait a little bit more. Wait for the little bobber doodad. Now left click. The fish is hooked and now you just hold left click to reel it in. If the bobber goes orange or red, let go of the left click. Uh, the fish will go away a little bit. It'll turn green. Then just hold down left click again until you catch the item. Simple as bro. To catch better fish, you'll probably want to attach some bait to the rod. You, hit, you do this by hitting R before you cast. Once you've caught the fish that Michael wants you to catch, You'll need to run over to Dean of Ruby in Everfall. This is where you'll get your first pair of Fisher shoes. Hooray! Question mark. I caught the clams for Ruby's missions right here on the beach. It took about 10 minutes and I managed to snag a few random loot chests, which was pretty cool. The snails I caught at any random fresh water source. To break both of these down into bait, you want to go into inventory and hold S and left click on the item. Now hoof on over to Dallas Clemens in First Light. Did Ruby put you up to this? Uh, oh yay, I some gloves. I still have my in teleport no, tied to Windswood at this point, so I just teleported back to Michael and fish in the hot spot next to him Hello, to finish this quest. The next stop is Quinton there. Warwick in Monarch's Bluff. I'd suggest approaching from the north if you're at a low level. Oh look, gave us some fancy pants. Fish up some fish and go see Edith Perchel for a new heart in Cutlass Keys. What you're going to do now is find yourself a nice deep fishing area to get those larger fish. Make sure you're using bait. Then go visit Park Janet in Brightwood to get the last piece of the first fishing gear set. Multiply by three, carry the one. Now this first set actually adds no fishing buff whatsoever, but it does make you look pretty fancy. After these first few missions, you will start to get fishing chests as a reward. These items do add a buff to your fishing. If you've made it this far, you're well on your way to being a master angler. Just keep following the quest lines and make sure you take in the views. This game is beautiful. Please make sure to like and subscribe this video. There will be many more coming. And also remember that I stream over on Twitch every weeknight. Uh, it'd be great to have you in there to say g'day. Drink and fish responsibly, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.